Louis, so ambitious it was unreal. Yeah. He knew what he wanted. And uh, he had an uncanny way about getting what he wanted, too. A few times, you know, I'd oversleep, come in late. And, and he, when he introduced the guys in the band, you know, he, at the end of the show, he would say, Sam Butera, Keely Smith, the whole bit. And when he'd get to me, he'd say, and that guy. <laughs> and this, you know, he kept you like that for about a week. And we're sitting in a room, quiet, and he says, Okay, let me hear you play a shuffle rhythm. So I started. I said, wait a minute. I didn't give you a downbeat yet. The chief never gave you a downbeat yet. I said, oh, excuse me. So he gave me the downbeat. That was the first thing I learned about Louie. Don't do nothing until he tells you. If he didn't see the audience, he couldn't work. I mean, he could work, but he couldn't tell what they wanted, you know. He had to see if they were enjoying it, what they liked or what they didn't like. That was his success. He could read the people. Way down on the levee, in old Alabama, there's Daddy and Mammy, and Ephraim and Sammy on the moon. Like night, you can hear them all while they await. And the band is a syncopated. What's that they're saying? What's that they're saying? But while they are playing, I'm humming and swaying. It's a good ship, Robert E. Lee, that's gonna carry the cotton away. Watch them shuffling alone. See them shuffling alone. Go take your best gal, real pal. Go down to Levy. I said Levy, join that shuffling throw. Hear that music and sound. It's simply great, mate. Waiting on Levy, waiting for the robbery. like magic it was like magic you got on a high from just being there just working in that unit